What if I told you that there's a plant that can be grown in every U.S. state that has large flowers, is almost impossible to kill, and you can probably get it for free? That plant that I'm talking about is the iris. Iris is one of the greatest plants you can put in your garden because, well, we've been gardening with iris for thousands of years. Now, the word iris is actually Greek, and it means rainbow, and that's because iris are available in a whole bunch of different colors. And there are types of iris for almost any condition, whether that's arid or hot and humid or northern climates where it gets really cold. Irises have also been used in traditional medicine, and they've also been used in things like perfumery. And in Japan, it's believed that irises actually ward off evil spirits, and so sometimes you'll find them growing on the corners of buildings. Bearded iris are the most common, but there are also a bunch of other varieties such as Siberian, Japanese, Louisiana, Dutch, and more. And iris enthusiasts have been crossbreeding them forever, and so there are estimated to be more than 10,000 registered varieties of iris. And that's why they can be grown, well, almost anywhere, because there are people that have found those different varieties among the different species of iris that can tolerate either swampy conditions or arid conditions or hot or cold or whatever it is that you've got. Even areas with full sun or partial sun, iris will grow there. And they grow like weeds. If you just ask anyone that has grown iris, they'll say you pretty much can't kill them. I mean, I've seen cases where people like literally throw them in the trash and then they start growing. Or maybe people just go with their lawnmower and just mow them over and they come right back up. Now, there are two things that are somewhat negative about iris, but they both kind of have a positive twist to them. So let's talk about it. So first of all is iris don't bloom for very long. And that's probably the worst thing about them is they bloom for a brief period of time in the spring, whether that's three weeks, maybe five weeks if you're lucky. However, not all iris bloom at the same time. So if you carefully plan out your iris garden, you can have early blooming varieties, mid blooming varieties, and later blooming varieties. That way you have something blooming in your iris garden for a period of sometimes up to a couple of months. And there are even some varieties out there that are re-bloomers that might even bloom for you in the fall. Now the next negative thing about iris is there is some maintenance that goes along with them. And the biggest piece of maintenance for your iris is to periodically thin them out. Now most iris spread through these tuber-like things that are actually called rhizomes, which grow near the surface of the soil. And eventually after three to five years in the flower bed, those rhizomes end up getting really crowded and the plants themselves get really crowded and they may actually start blooming less if they get too packed into a place. So that's why it's recommended every three to five years that you thin them out. So you actually go in there and you dig them up and if you've got say 10 plants in an area this big, you cut it back down to one or two plants. And that will help reinvigorate those plants and allow them to perform better in the landscape. But this is where it gets really good. When you thin those plants out, you end up with well, a lot of new plants that then you can put in other areas of the garden, or more commonly, you can start giving away or trading with people. You see, there are iris clubs and iris societies and backyard gardening Facebook pages all over the country that are full of people that are ready and willing to give away iris and also trade iris. And people that grow iris are almost always willing to give some away because they know how quickly they multiply. In fact, if you just go on social media and ask, hey, is anybody willing to share some iris with me? I bet you will get probably half a dozen responses at least of people willing to give you some. And then you can grow your own and then you can share the love yourself once you do have enough to start giving them away. And if you've stayed for this entire video, I risk you the best of luck. That was bad. <laughs>